So I'm going to come up here really quickly and make a quick video. Um, it's early in the morning and um, I just don't to make a quick run. But I got on Facebook this morning and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but this is this video will be about exactly why I do not do social media anymore. Um, why I do not connect with a lot of people in the Hebrew community um, or so-called Hebrew community anymore, really at all. Um, and why I'm very selective about who I partner with and connect with because that is important. Um, and then also why I say all the time about doing what you know to do instead of talking about it because that's just how I am. Um, but I got on Facebook this morning scrolling through and I saw a post about, you know, uh, Hebrews in Africa or Africans, you know, quote unquote Africans are more Hebrew than blacks in America. And their point was to try to prove that, you know, and their point was to like try and prove some of the camps that are teaching. I don't even know what camp is teaching this. Um, well, I think I might know, but anyway, um, well, I heard one all people in Africa stinky Africans, but anyway, I've heard, I think this is in response to trying to rebuke the other camps to prove, you know, hey, I am a Hebrew. Who cares what you say? Let me prove it to you. Um, and I get that, but my point is, um, those types of things actually cause more strife, more strife and seeds of discord within our people just as equal as anything else. Um, because of the fact that you saying that because you're African or you're a Hebrew as stayed in Africa does not make you any more Hebrew than me in America. The culture that you grew up amongst made me more Hebrew traditional than the culture I grew up amongst. But my blood is no different from your blood. So that's a preposterous and ignorant statement. And it's quite unnecessary. My frustration is not in the sense of, you know, hey, let me show you that I am just as important as you. That's a stupid argument. That's for children. The point of the matter is, is that if you are what you say you are, then do it. Live it out. Who cares if anybody believes you or not? If it's the truth, it's the truth. I know there's plenty of people, half the world don't believe us anyway. We can say, yeah, let's be real when it comes to anybody black claiming any you know, ancestry. Um, back to the whole chosen people. Um, even if they know it's true, you know, you still have those who um, will um, try to deny it just to keep the lie going. But then there's people that just ain't gonna believe it because we're black. <laughs> And look at those filthy little black people. How could they be anything good? That's just how they are. I refuse, nor am I interested in taking any of my time to combat to these people to say, hey, I'm going to prove to you that I am. I don't really care what you believe. I live my life out because a lot, a lot of our people have made the gospel, the good news, so-called, you know, good news. I mean, the so-called gospel, um, the gospel of the Hebrew. And let me prove to you who the Hebrews are, and that's it. Let me prove to you by being as black as I can be, in my attitude, in my nature, wearing my fringes down to my ankles, and keeping my Sabbath and broadcasting about 24/7, posting a billion memes a day about you know what's pagan and what's not pagan, or why I'm Hebrew and why you're not. It's stupid. Because that's not what we're called to do as the chosen people. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Becoming a Hebrew, or not becoming, but knowing you're a Hebrew, waking up to that, becoming, becoming a Hebrew in your mind, has nothing to do with proving anything to the world. It has everything to do with changing yourself. Because being a Hebrew is great, but it's the responsibility that comes with it. And a lot of our people lack the responsibility that comes with it. Because they're so focused on proving to everybody who they are. Who cares? Who cares who you are? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? And um, that's so aggravating to me because our people spend so, I mean, our people spend so much time going back and forth with everybody else. I mean, come on, like let's be real. These camps are 
CIA owned and operated. Um, as far as I believe, um, that's what I've heard at least. Um, but I believe it to be true. Um, but even if that's not true, we all know that they don't have the same spirit or the right spirit as the scriptures reads it tells us to have. You know, being thinking of things as pure and fruits of the spirit, uh, love, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness. They are very belligerent and they use cry aloud, so you're not really someone who use that scripture as an excuse to act a fool and to go off on whomever they want to. Those are not the disciples of the most high. Because even when Peter did that and cut the ear off of the man, the most high, you know, the Messiah said, you know, come on, come on now. And he put the ear back on the man. So acting a fool and being belligerent and cutting up clearly is not a sign that you are a disciple of the most high. Um, but being pure, being pure in your conversation, as the Apostle Paul said, or Shaul, um, living out, focusing on making sure that you're with the Most High and what He told you to do, it, you know, it, it's pleasing to Him, is what you're doing. I can care less about anybody who says I'm not. I get comments almost all the time on my videos about some filthy, not filthy, but some Africans saying, you know, you filthy black people, you know, who cares and, and don't put my people in this. You're not this. That is now you're the lowest on the totem pole. I don't respond to that crap because it's not important. <laughs> I told one person that I responded one time. I said, "Sir, regardless of what you believe, it doesn't change anything about who I am. So I don't care if you believe it or not. Just because you don't believe in something does not, in any way, shape, or form, change the fact that it is true. It exists because you don't believe in God. Some people may not believe in Him just because you don't believe in Him." Does not all of a sudden poof make him disappear? Because you don't believe in a hell or a heaven, does not all of a sudden poof make it disappear? So why are we? Why are any of you spending time trying to convince people who are clearly of the wrong mind and spirit, and more than likely operating for the wrong person, the wrong quote unquote GOD? You know why are you wasting your time going back and forth with these people? If you are a Hebrew, nothing's going to prove it more than you actually living it out and doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense. I said in another video, Acts 4 and 13, uh, the apostle um, Peter and I believe it was John, or I might have the names and stuff, but anyway, they um, were ignorant and unlearned, illiterate men. And when they spoke, they spoke with boldness. Um, and um, the thing about it is that when they spoke, people believed them because they say, you know, now we can tell, we know these people, these men have been with the Most High. They speak with boldness and accuracy and, and power from the Most High. They didn't have to go around saying, I am a disciple. I sat with Jesus and I ate with him and he had this one last time I saw him. No, they just did what they were supposed to do. They spoke the truth. They spoke the commandment. They did that. So this is probably going to hopefully be my last time addressing this. But I just wanted to be known why I'm always saying yeah, anybody that is close to me or, you know, has spoken to me. This is why I always say, everybody knows who you are. Even if they don't know, who cares? But what's important is what you're doing. <laughs> That's what's important. I can care two cents about who does or does not believe that I'm Hebrew. Because they, even if they do begin to believe that you're Hebrew, then the next thing they're going to expect out of you is you be doing some Hebrew-like things. But no, you're too busy trying to prove that you're Hebrew. It's crazy. And and those kind of comments, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, blacks and I mean he, Africans in Africa are more Hebrew than blacks in America. How in the heck is that gonna in, uh, induce uh, unity amongst our people? The most I say one thing he hates <laughs> is sees a discord and sowing discord and contention amongst the brethren. Whether you mean to or not, those seeds, those words are doing just that. Because I can say I can take it and be like, I don't really care what you think and say. But there could be somebody else that actually didn't have feelings and get offended by that. And therefore, they don't want nothing to do with you or anybody now. I'm just saying, y'all got to use wisdom. It's not any wisdom. There's very little wisdom. There's all this book knowledge, but very little wisdom and very little book And it's crazy, man. Ain't nobody going to take you seriously. Not even your own people. Because you spend all this time trying to convince people. But you do nothing to prove it.